Welcome back to Building Blocks for Apartment Investing. On this episode, we have a marketing extraordinaire who is also a good friend of mine, Jerome Lewis. Jerome is Chief Marketing Officer for Digital Real Estate Strategy, and he's the host of RE Marketing Podcast. In part one of this video, he'll share the best way for an investor to market their business, and he'll give you a tip that you can start today. Don't forget to like and subscribe so we can continue to bring you professionals with valuable information to help you with your investing career. Enjoy the show. One way that we provide value is by bringing special guests like the one that we have here tonight. Jerome Lewis is in the house. Jerome is the host of RE Marketing Podcast, and he's the number one national best-selling author with titles such as The Ultimate video marketing guidebook for real estate entrepreneurs and RE Marketing, the insider secret of successful advertising, lead generation, and marketing implementation. He is also the founder and chief marketing officer for Digital Estate Strategy, a marketing agency that helps real estate entrepreneurs implement structure and systematize their business systems. He has also helped over 5,000 real estate entrepreneurs with their marketing strategies. Jerome, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. That bio is impressive. If anybody needs that, that's some marketing right there for you. <laughs> Woo. We, we provide those services. Thanks for having me, gentlemen. So, uh, Jerome, we just heard a little bit of your bio. How about telling us a little bit more about you? I got started in real estate about seven years ago. Uh, the reason why I got started is because I was working like a nine to five job and uh, I, I just wanted more. I wanted, I'm like, you know what? I can't afford these bills. One of the biggest bills you'll ever have as a man is like child support. Child support was like really kicking my behind. And I was like, it's, it's no way I can support and provide for people the way I want to. So I uh, went to Google. I typed in like, how can I get rich or make more money? And it led me to real estate, more specifically wholesaling. That's kind of a little bit about me and how I got started. More personally, I have four children right? So that child support can catch up to you. And I'm an introvert and I found myself in marketing. I like to help real estate people establish their marketing. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you got deeper into marketing as to where you are currently right now? Yeah, sure. So I got started with a mentor, right? And I went out to kind of pay for this coach. I paid him $3,000. It, it actually took me a few years to save up for that money too. Like at the time, there was a lot of money. It took me like two or three years to save up for that. I took his principles and I applied them. I learned how to wholesale and I would continue to apply one of his principles was, which was network. Uh, he's like, go out, network and meet the right people. So I would go out and network. I go online and look for groups, right? At the time, I don't really think there was uh, these groups that we do now. I don't think they were as popular, like virtual. But they would do these groups locally, like the meetups, and you go out and you talk to other entrepreneurs and other business owners that are interested in the same that, things that you're interested in. And because I consistently showed up, the local group that I was attending, they asked me to volunteer for them. And when I volunteered for them, I volunteered my IT services. I was working an IT job. And because I was consistent, the next thing they asked me to do was, hey, could you help us grow some of the attendance for some of these groups? And I said, yes. And at the time, I was a little bit ignorant. I didn't know what marketing was. I just thought it was like, all I got to do is put some numbers and some things into the computer and things will work. And that was ignorant, but it did actually and legitimately work. Because I was consistent, because I did that and I would help grow the rooms, we were, and let me tell a story. I was, um, we had one of the groups in West Philly. And when I first attended that group, it was, it was five people at the table. By the same time next year, we we moved the venue, but it was over 100 people attending that event. So like what we were doing was working and I still didn't know what I was doing, but what we were doing was working. And I was like, okay, it's just some computers and you just click, clack, click, clack, and you kind of move on. That's how I got involved. And I would continue to do some more stuff for that group. And the pandemic hit and the group started to shrink during the shrinkage of the group there and there were like multiple groups around. So we had like this high level mastermind where all of the groups would come and talk about how they could grow their groups. That's where I met Ron LeGrand. And he was like, you know what the issue is with your groups is you don't 
no marketing. You don't understand marketing. All of, he was talking to all of us. He's like, none of you understand marketing. If you fix your marketing, you won't have the problems that you have. Your groups will stop shrinking. Ever since I heard that, it kind of stuck with me. And I was like, okay, we need to learn marketing. We need to understand what's going on. And I went out to study everything that I possibly could on marketing. And that's kind of how I got involved with marketing. With most people not really understanding understanding what marketing is, can you explain why people should care about marketing? So if you run a business, there are two aspects to marketing, right? You're, you're a business owner, kind of a producer, and then there's another aspect, you're a consumer. And you should care in both respects because as a consumer, you want to know what they're doing to you, maybe psychologically. Um, and then as a producer, as a business owner, like all are here, it's going to help grow your business if you apply the right marketing. The, it, the reason why you should care is because it helps grow your business. It's going to bring leads into your business. Uh, more specifically for us, uh, as real estate entrepreneurs, we're like always looking for deals. And if we implement and employ the right marketing, we will get more deals. So kind of along that line, what is the best way for real estate investors such as myself to market their business? Marketing your business, it varies. So people will tell you market and you should market, but it really depends on all the business. It really depends on your skill level and it also depends on your personality, right? So not everybody should be able to do or, or will have the same influence and the same effect in the different types of marketing, right? And that's like, some people can just go out and market all by themselves and they don't need help. And other people, they need help or they need assistance or they need a company. So it really depends on what phase you are. It also depends on your personality. However, one thing that I, I think anybody can like start to market, even if it's not, uh, something is better than nothing, right? I have a quote that, I like, that uh, uh, one of my mentors say, and it's like, version one is better than none. So a good way to always start, like anybody can start, is to use social media. So kind of along that line, you said there's different phases. As we all know, there's the beginner, there's the intermediate, and there's quote unquote, the expert when it comes to various phases of business. How often in those various phases should someone send out marketing materials? So each phase will vary. And this is why like marketing is so complex. And this is why people don't understand it because everything requires like it, it, almost all of it requires like some kind of customized thing because you got different personalities, you got different businesses, all of those things play a factor into the marketing. With that, I would say, um, and we were talking like a little bit and people call it the green room or before we talk, the general rule of thumb for marketing, the vague answer is as often as possible. Like that's the vague answer. Whatever phase that you're in, you want to market as much as possible. However, to like be more specific and trim some of that like junk off the vague phase is, it really depends. It, it's as often as possible and it depends on who you're targeting, right? So as an example, like we're in real estate, if I were targeting a, a homeowner, right? That's like maybe in foreclosure, I might not target them as frequently in the beginning of their foreclosure, but when it gets a little bit towards their property going to share sell, maybe I would target them a little bit more. So it really depends, right? And also like you gentlemen, for example, this is a commercial multifamily group that would require a different level of marketing, right? They might not want to get something marketed to them once a week or something like that. You might have to hit them once a month. So like the frequency, it will vary. But if I had to get like, what's the absolute bottom line that you have to market to people, I would say uh, once per month, right? And the way you kind of do that, and Carlos hit, Carlos talked about it a little bit earlier, is you, you want to provide them value. And one of the ways that you can do that is through like a monthly newsletter. So most times people, we allow, and I love technology, but we allow technology to water things down. So now everybody sends newsletters. They send newsletters every day or every week and, and it can become excessive. Nobody's opening their emails. People are not reading stuff on social media. So a really good uh, potent strategy is to send whoever your target is a monthly newsletter that adds value to their lives. So once a month, which equates to 12 times a year. So with the methods that you generally use and teach, can they be used regardless of the industry? Yes, they can be used regardless of the industry. And I tried giving this some thought. If you're like a, it can be used if you're an entrepreneur, I would say is a safe way to put it. I was trying to think about like some industries that might not need marketing. One industry I was thinking of, and, and this might not be an exact answer was like 
maybe like a hospital or something like that. I didn't give it enough thought to figure out like, do they need marketing? Do they not need marketing? But if you're an entrepreneur, right? Like us, anybody here watching this, it will work regardless of your industry because you want to attract people to your business. When it comes to like, maybe like a charity or something like that, maybe not, maybe, but I kind of, I'm like 90% sure that all businesses need marketing. Yeah. Hey, Jerome, yes. I'll just add to what you're saying with regards to marketing. And you were talking about hospitals. We're here in the Philadelphia area and there's hospitals everywhere. And you always see it. We can name the ones, the University of Penn's. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, they're all over the place. So yeah, I, I do agree with what you're saying with regards to all industries probably do need some form of marketing. They are. And there's like different like aspects of business too. And just to like simplify, I want to be extreme. Like you have a front end of business and then you have a back end, right? So I was thinking about the hospital. I'm like, maybe, maybe not, but they do. They're implementing marketing. But another thing that we've sometimes don't remember or forget is like the back end of stuff, right? So those hospitals, as an example, they can be funded by private money. Well, how do you get those lenders? You need to market to them. You need to get, you need to get them interested. So I think that every business needs marketing some way or another, right? After giving it some thought. With the way that the economy is right now and in interest rates rising, what do you say to those who don't have it in their budget to do any marketing? I would tell them to watch this. And one of the things that I talked about was like everybody can do like some social media marketing and like everybody can do like digital marketing, right? Typically when you think about digital marketing, you think about like all of the social media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, you can go out and start to market on those platforms for free. Um, however, I would take it a step further and I would really get into uh, video marketing on whichever platform, right? Get out there and start producing videos. Like don't post a generic content that everybody's posting a picture of this. Oh, I'm selling a house. Oh, I'm looking to buy apartments. Like say that on the video and it's going to help your marketing be more unique, right? So that's one of the reasons why video is so powerful. Especially like social video is called social video is because you're different. There's no other versions of you out there. So all you have to do is that social media post or that thing that everybody's posting, you take the same thing and you just say it in video. That's what's going to help separate you. So everybody can employ this marketing if they apply it to social media. Most of social media is free. I consider you an expert in this field right now of marketing. So where do you see marketing expanding or going within the next five to 10 years? The thing about marketing is like technology is involved. And in five to 10 years, I can't even like my brain, I can't even fathom. However, like where it's going right now, I can give a temperature. Marketing is changing from, this is, and it's starting to get really tech, technical, but marketing is changing from like generic, like the generic marketing is not working any longer. The generic marketing, the, the generic, hey, come do this, or hey, come do that is going away. And you have to be more customized, right? So even more specifically, so as an example, Google Ads, it's changing and it's becoming to be more customized, right? So you might pop on Google and they're going to say your name exactly. Hey, Cedric, do you want this? And it's going to catch your attention. So what I see, like at the current landscape, I guess one to three years, I see marketing being more customized to the individual. Uh, technology like doubles every so often. So like the five to year mark, I can't even like, it, it blows my mind as much as I love technology. So the the bottom line is that Marketing is going to grow and become more custom to individuals because it's more effective that way too. Is there one quick hack that you can give to us today that anyone can implement? Yes, I, and I'm, I'm going to be consistent with what I said earlier. I encourage people to get familiar and get on social media, but more specifically, I, I encourage people to do video, right? And what are some examples of doing video well like people get scared and they're like oh my god i'm scared it's like public speaking and it's it's really not public speaking we think about it as public speaking but it's not video communication is like it's mostly one-to-one -one communication when people are watching videos they're typically watching one video their video by themselves on their computer or on their mobile phone so uh, we need to stop thinking about video as like a public speaking mechanism and we need to think about it as a individual communication that means you can start video like ASAP. If you're scared to post it out on social media publicly, send it in someone's inbox. If you're scared to send it in someone's inbox, 
you got some friends and family that you are close with and you can start there. So as an example, let's say said we're best friends. Well, if I'm trying to get from me, I'm trying to get marketing. I want to do some video every morning. I was, instead of sending you a good morning text or checking in with you on our daily thing, I'm going to do a video once in a while. And that gets me in the comfort of producing those videos. So when it's time for me to go public, I can, all I got to do is create that video and just post it, or I can just post a, the live button.